Hey guys, this is Leah with TheRusticEasel.com. Today I wanted to show you how I put together my art kit. So if you are new to doing paint kits and you're just not sure where to begin, hopefully this video will give you a good start on the things that you need and then also just a simple way to put together a paint kit. That way you can easily get it off to your painter who has ordered it. All right, so I have everything here I'll need to put together this paint kit. Um, this person ordered my bike design. And so what I do is the first thing is I have a sheet of paper. This kind of explains what is included in the kit. So if you wanna screenshot that, you can always just go on Word or Canva and make your own template like this. And then I just switch out the picture and the name depending on what they order. And then behind the sheet, this is going to be my instructions on how to actually paint the picture. Um, that can be written instructions, picture instructions. I provide a link to a YouTube video where I walk them through from start to finish how to paint the picture they choose. But you can do it whatever way works for you. But I kind of hide that behind this front sheet, that way they can't see it right away, especially if I'm gonna put these kits in a store or something like that. And then the second thing I do is I go ahead and draw the image on the canvas. So this painting needs the bike and the basket drawn on. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time. And there are lots of ways to draw an image on a canvas. You can use printable templates, stencils. I use a projector sometimes. Um, and to be honest, I use all the different methods just depending on what the image is and what is easiest for that. So the second thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pour out my paints. Now something I do, you can't see it, but over here I have an entire bin of just different designs. So depending on which one they choose, this is the bike design. So if you can see that up there, the bike. So what I do is I keep all the information in this folder. That way um, I can just easily grab it and have everything here. I have the paint colors that I need to use. I also will write beside the colors. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just write small amount or large amount depending on what it is that they need. So if they need a lot of it, I'll put a lot. That way when I go to do a kit or a paint party, I know how much of each color that I need to prepare for. And I also know which colors to grab and use. So for the small colors, I usually use these little paint pods. I like them because the lids are flat on the inside. And so you can fill the, the pot up with paint and still be able to close it. Sometimes they don't always close great. In that case, I usually will just get a different one or Sometimes I'll just cut the backs off right here. So cut this little part right here that holds um, the lid on when it's flipped open. And that will help keep it closed a little bit better too. So I'm just gonna go through my list. I see it needs a small amount of tan. And I always put my paints in these bottles just cause it makes it easier for me to pour them more easily. So I'm gonna get all my small ones done. I need a little bit of the gray, a small amount of black, and then a small amount of brown. Now for the ones that I need a lot of, I like to use these little pouches. They're, I think they're 3.5 by 2.5. I just get them on Amazon. And they're open at the top, so I'll just stick my finger in there and kind of pinch the back like that so it stays open. And then I'll just take my color, so in this case I need white. I fill it up about halfway. You don't want to fill it up too much because you won't be able to seal it. And then I just have one of these mini heat sealers that I keep plugged in, and I just seal the top. And then that way they have a big amount, they can just rip the edge right here, pour this on their plate, and paint using this. Now you could fill up all of your colors using this. So like if I was gonna, instead of doing these paint pots, I could fill up these, just fill up just barely at the bottom, just a little bit of paint, and then seal it kind of closer to that area, and then you can just always cut off the top. The only reason I don't do that 
is because it does take a little bit more time to fill these up and I always try to work quick and simple. So for me, I just use the combination of the two because that is just easiest for me to do. And then I'm just going to cut this in half. That way I have two pieces like that. And then I get these little baggies. They're almost like a little sandwich baggie. Um, I get them off of Amazon and I just stick all the paints in there. The reason why I stick the paints in here is two things. One, I can now staple this to the back of the canvas, which I'll show you in a minute. And the second thing is if this busts for some reason um, before the person gets to paint, then I can just replace their paints and I won't have to replace their entire kit because their paints are in this bag. And so if they explode or something happens to them, it will be contained in the bag. All right, so the next thing is brushes. I have my brushes here. Depending on which painting they do, they might need a different brush. But for this painting, these two brushes will work. When it comes to brushes for paint kits, I just try to find the cheapest paint brushes that have some quality to them. So I call them a one or two use paint brush. So they're not something that's costing me a lot of money to provide for these kits, but um, they actually work and the painter can paint with them just fine. And I just slide them into these little baggies. I think they're called pretzel bags. And you just pull off the little, there's a little tab at the top and you can fold this over and seal it so it looks nice and professional. Um, and then it's time to start putting together my kit. So I always flip my canvas upside down and I have my business card that I staple to the back of my canvas. I do this so when the painter um, hangs this on their wall and they decide later on to order more kits for me, they have my information right on the back of the canvas. So what I do is I just put my little bag of paint and I also put my brushes and I use a stapler. I just staple it right to the wood of the canvas. That way it can stay just like that. And then I also include a paper towel. So I just fold that and put it there. I include a little dessert plate so that they can use that to mix their colors. And then a little disposable apron. I get these off of Amazon. I just put that right there. I do not provide a cup for water. I tell them in the instructions that they need to fill up a cup to rinse out their brushes. And that way the kit can stay nice and small. When I first started doing this, I did provide cups and they're just too bulky to have, you know, to include in a paint kit. So the next thing I do is I just get these little sleeves and I'm doing this, this is an 11 by 14 canvas. So depending on what size canvas you're doing, will determine what size sleeves that you need. But this is a 12 by 15, I think it's Mylar bag. I just get them off of Amazon. Usually companies will put shirts and stuff like that in them, but they fit the 11 by 14 canvas perfectly. So once I slip the kit in there, I'll also take my paper and put that so it's in the front. And then I just rip off, there's a little tab, just rip that off, fold it over, and then I have a nice kit that I can either sell to a customer or um, I can put this in a local store for sale. But as you can see, if somebody is shopping and they wanna see what is this, what is included, um, they can easily turn this around and see what all is included in the kit. But that is how I put together my paint kit. 